Matanya, chef of the Brussels two-star restaurant Sea Grill, teams up with Michael Kilkey, DJ, foodie, and head of culinary at the Scottish 3F Bio Limited to share the amazing sustainable options for using mycoprotein. What to do with wasted soil and don't let it be wasted soil. Because waste is waste. If you can do something with that, that's excellent. Um, we're going to talk about upgrading that wasted soil to microproteins and uh, we're going to do that with uh, Michael. Um, Michael, who's uh, joining us on the Zoom. Here he comes, I hope. Well, that Zoom is going to be a little bit later. Um, yeah, then uh, Eve, uh, you have a two-star restaurant, um, and you know about this principle, right? Uh, using the wasted soil to yeah, upgrade it to microprotein. How has that um, yeah, affected your way of thinking in the kitchen? Okay, so here you have the abunda, that's the mass, mm -hmm. you know? So with this one, I make some farce to put in the gyoza. Okay. So I make a lot of ingredients to make some flavor. And uh, here I put some porto, cognac, chestnut, some truffle, one mushrooms, and some bread to make the, the mass a little bit more soft okay. inside of the gyoza. You know? so, and I smoke the mass too, to have a different flavor. You know? right. so here I make the gyoza with that. I make consomme with one mushrooms. Okay. And suro, I don't know in English the suro, but suro is a little bit bay. I make a consomme of suro and wild mushrooms. In the top of the garnish, I have some uh, vegetable truffle here, like uh, the terre, yeah. some onions, mushrooms, and some herbs. Well, I'm really curious what you're going to do really with all those things. Uh, but now uh, I see that uh, Michael has joined us. Hello, Michael. Uh, hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, just fine, just fine. Thanks for joining us on uh, Eating the Gap. Uh, yeah, we were already talking about um, yeah, upgrading the waste and wasted soil to microprotein. Um, how do you go about uh, something like that? Um, so, yeah, so if I just give you a bit of background, I'm, as you said, my name is Mike. I'm the head of culinary at CF Bio. We're a biotech company and we produce. Um, microprotein sustainably by making more with less. Um, microprotein, and unlike other plant proteins, and Eve, Eve's been working with it, he's been telling you, unlike other pro plant proteins which are common today, microprotein is a full biomass. It's rich in protein and fibre, and most importantly for chefs, um, foodies, consumer, it's a complete ingredient. It's not dried. It's, it's not textured, it doesn't need reconstituted, it's a simple ingredient that you can take to the kitchen and you can work with it. Um, you cook with it as you would more, other more traditional proteins. It's got a very clean and neutral taste that, that Eve, will, Eve will tell you as well, and quite a fibrous meat-like texture. So it gives chefs um, a real blank canvas to work with and to get creative with. You know, you don't you don't need to be an expert in molecular gastronomy, you know, or have a degree in science when you cook with a bun. That's simple. It's delicious. Um, from the very simplest of no, crabless crab cakes, you know, or um, we, you can make no beef steaks and no chicken fillets with it. It's you know, it's all very very easy and yeah. achievable. Is that that the exciting part? That it's so yeah that you can do so much with this product. Absolutely. Yeah. What What's your um, most favourite um, yeah dish that you have made with it? For uh, well, for me, uh, the, the dish that we we go back to quite a lot. I mean, we make lots of things from whole chicken breast fillets to chicken nuggets to sausages to pies. But the, to, for me, we make little kind of Thai style crab patties, which really show the simplicity of abunda. You throw the abunda into a bowl, you mix it with some chilli, garlic, ginger, coriander, it's all the flavours of Southeast Asia. Bind it with a little bit of breadcrumbs, shake them and pan fry them. And for me, that's that's the, the, the recipe we, we like to show to people because it expresses the simplicity of cooking with abunda. And, and most importantly, it tastes absolutely fantastic. Yeah. 
I'm um, going to check back with Eve. Yeah, Eve, it's not only cooking 101, it's it's making a dish with it that, that's really on a gastronomic level, that's really here, right? Yes, yes it's, it's, of course. No, I want to make something different, you know? And uh, it's, um, the dish is very vegan, you know? It's no meat, nothing, only vegan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm telling you before, to make the texture more soft, I make some uh, white bread inside here, on the gyoza. Oh yeah, I make some garnish with that. No, I make now. Looks absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Uh. Thank you. Now yeah, I make some consommé. Yeah. Sorry, with with one hand, it's no easy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but it's really refined, right? Yes. Yeah. It's very flavor of vegetable of the wood, you know. Yeah. yeah. And here I have the oil. With some, this is all with the sapin okay. is inside. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No, but the, the, the dish is finished. Don't really, yeah, it really looks great, and I guess it tastes great as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't make it, right? No, <laughs> I think the taste is, is great. I need to worry a little bit more, you know. Mm. It's, uh, it's uh, the first recipe I make with that. Yeah. No, me, well. I have very lot of flavor of the gyoza now, you know. You have a lot of protein now. Yeah. Is this exci uh, an exciting new way of cooking for you? I think so. It's very interesting. No, I need to work more on that, you know. Yeah. It's new for me too. Yeah. No, I see uh, what you make before. Some hamburger, some uh, uh, crab cake with a lot of spices. I think it's possible to make a lot of things with that, you know. But after that is the creati cre creativity of the chef, you know. Right. And when you show me the example, you have very the texture of the chicken. It's very funny. When you eat that, you have the texture of uh, chicken. Right. It's very strange. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's uh, it's well it's a good thing that well you guys perhaps can talk a little bit more after after the show, but that you can I inspire each other. You know, you you have the 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 concept, but you can take it away and make it your own. Absolutely, and I think what has what Eve has shown very, very well today is that you know, yes, you can make a sausage, and yes, you can make a chicken nugget, but actually, Abunda is so versatile. You can really elevate it with somebody with with um, Eve's imagination and skill to to what he's done with it today. I'm only sorry that I'm stuck in Scotland and I can't taste it because it looks delicious. Next time, what do you think? You like it? I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it, it, I think looks, it looks it's really, really. It's really. I think it's elevated Rwanda to to a, a really high level and has shown its versatility. Yeah. I think it's great. Once and how did Eve? How did you find? I know you only worked with it for a short time, but how did you find working with it? Sorry, excuse me. I I know you only had a short time to familiarise yourself with Rwanda and work with it, but how did you find it? Yeah, it's no easy in the beginning. Because when I mix too much, the texture is totally different. So I, and this one, I need to mix with the hands. When I'm pushing Thermomix, the texture is not so good. You know? So I need to work on that. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's just about, it's about learning how to, how to handle it, how to work with it, and, and understanding its simplicity. And it's like any ingredient. You c it can be as simple as you like, or it can be as complex as you like, and you know, with, with different techniques and different processes. And I, I think you've you've given a great example today of what you can do with it. Yeah, it looks yep. good. Um, apparently it tastes good as well. So we should all check it out. And um, whenever you can, uh, you should come over to Belgium and uh, taste it at Eve's restaurant. Right? Uh, I'm seeing you the recipe, I promise you. Absolutely, thank you. you. As soon as we can travel again, I'll be there. Yeah, that, okay, would, thank that, you. that would be great. We're all looking forward to that, I think. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank okay, you. Michael, thanks for joining us, and uh, Eve, thanks for uh, Thank joining you, us you. as well. Thank it you. looks li really, 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 really tasty. So uh, good luck with uh, the new process. Thank you.